Welcome to the Why On Podcast. Great to be here. You sent over some uh, interesting information about asteroids, and there's one that seems to be, well, making a bit of news, 2025 FA-22. That's the one. Yeah, it's about uh, 656 feet across. Right. And the European Space Agency, ESA, they've actually just added it to their, you know, their top five list of potentially hazardous objects. Top five. Okay. So hazardous why? Is there an impact risk? There is a potential impact date, but it's uh, it's way off in the future. September 19th, 2089. 2089. Okay. That is distant. So what are we talking probability-wise? Right now, it's really, really low. Yeah. Um, around... 0.01%. 0.01%. Tiny. Very tiny. I mean, you know, statistically negligible for now. Right. But because of its size, if it were to hit, it could cause, well, significant regional damage, so it warrants watching. And I saw notes about the Palermo and Torino scales. What do those tell us? Yeah, those are basically risk assessment tools. Yeah. Its Palermo scale rating is just above Medix 3, which kind of flags it as needing a bit more attention than, say, the average background risk. And on the Torino scale, it's sort of teetering between zero and one. Zero means essentially no hazard. One means uh, routine discovery, merits careful monitoring, but still very low odds. So low risk, but not zero risk. Keep an eye on it. Exactly. But here's something interesting. Before that uh, potential 2089 date, it's actually paying us the visit much, much sooner. Oh, when's that? September 18th, 2025. So next year. Wow. Okay. So it's coming close? Relatively close, yes. Okay. It's what's called an Apollo group asteroid. Right. Meaning its orbit crosses Earth's orbit. Precisely. And this close approach in 2025, it's actually a really valuable opportunity for scientists. Ah, I see. A chance to study it better. Exactly. Get a much closer look, use radar maybe, really nail down its size, its shape, and most importantly, refine its orbital path. So that data could change the picture for 2089. It absolutely could. More data usually means better predictions. It might rule out the impact possibility entirely or, well, refine the odds. Makes sense. And this is just one asteroid, right? There must be loads they're tracking. Oh, absolutely. ESA's risk list alone has, let me check. Yeah, currently 1,782 asteroids and comets on it. Wow. And the total count of known near-Earth objects, or NEOs, is much higher. We're talking over 38,000 asteroids and about 123 comets near Earth. That's a lot of space rocks. What about some others we've heard about, like um, Apophis? Wasn't that a concern for 2029? Good example. Yeah. Yes, Apophis was a big concern initially for 2029 and then later for other dates. But with more observations over the years, scientists have definitively ruled out any impact risk for the foreseeable future. Okay, so that one's off the worry list. Completely off, yes. Yeah. There was another recent one, 2024 YR4, mentioned maybe for 2032. Right, I remember seeing that. Same story, basically. Further tracking showed no risk to Earth. Interestingly, there's still a very small chance, like 1.8%, that 2024 YR4 could impact the moon. Hit the moon. Would that be a big deal? For the moon, yeah. It's got plenty of craters already. It could take the hit, no problem. It would be scientifically interesting, maybe, but not dangerous for us. So there's a whole system, a network, watching the skies, then? Definitely. Both NASA and ES have dedicated programs. NASA has its Asteroid Watch at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory and the Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, CNEOS. CNEOS, right. Yeah, they're constantly tracking orbits, calculating risks, refining models. It's a nonstop job. Okay, so wrapping this up then. 2025 FA-22, the 656-foot asteroid, it's on a list. Potential impact way off in 2089, but the actual risk right now is uh, extremely low. That's the current picture, yes. Very low probability, very distant potential event. And the upcoming flyby in 2025 is more of a scientific opportunity than a current threat. Exactly. It highlights the process. You know, we find them, we track them, we gather more data, we refine the risk assessment. It shows the system is working. Well, that's definitely a more reassuring perspective than just hearing top five hazardous asteroid. It's good to get that context. For sure. Vigilance is key, but panic isn't warranted based on what we know now. All right. Fascinating stuff. Thanks for that deep dive into the asteroid news. Stay tuned for more such intriguing stories to come.